Mommy, why aren't there any presents underneath the tree? Listen, kids. Mommy is having a really hard time with money right now. So you guys may have to wait till after Christmas ends, okay? But Mommy, Santa is supposed to bring us gifts on Christmas. Yes, yes, that's, that's, that's what I meant. So can you give Mommy some time, okay? I will make sure I send the letters so that Santa can figure out when to bring your gifts. Mommy is having a very difficult season. It's okay, Mommy. Just tell Santa to bring you a present as well. Yeah, you work so hard, we want you to be happy too. Okay, thanks kids. I appreciate that. Now y'all go off to bed, and um, we'll talk about what Santa will bring you later. Hey girl. No, I was just putting the kids to bed. They keep asking me about Christmas gifts again. I really don't know what to tell them. I don't have enough money. So I just buy them what they want. Well, how am I supposed to pay the rent, girl? I just don't have too much money right now since Daryl left us. Well, before Daryl left, I really didn't have to worry about stuff like this. I feel like our family is completely falling apart. I, I feel like I'm, I'm such a failure to my children. Don't say that. <laughs> Things will be better. Stay positive and be optimistic. Oh, it's so hard. I just really want to give up. I don't even want to talk about Christmas. Bah humbug. What's wrong? You've been seeming down lately. My kids keep harassing me about gifts. My husband left me. I don't even make enough money to buy them anything. Hey, hey. You know if you need help, I got you. I know Christmas is about more than gifts, you know. It's about spending time with your loved ones and just Enjoying their company. But these are little kids we're talking about. I know, you're right. Those kids ain't gonna leave you alone about them Christmas gifts, girl. No, they're not. But hey, kids do need to know the true understanding of the holiday season. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I might know a guy who knows a guy. He may not be so trustworthy, but he may be able to do something for you for maybe $100. Hmm. Here, I'll give you 200 Oh, no, <laughs> no way. I don't want your money. Take the money for the kids. Okay, go home. Tell the kids that their mommy loves them. Don't be prideful here. Take this money. I really appreciate this. Absolutely. I'm gonna pay you back as soon as I can. Okay. Now here, here's the guy's number. Mm -hmm. His name is Skip. Okay. Okay? Do not tell him you know me. Okay? It's <laughs> weird, but okay. Um, I will give him a call. Okay. Thanks again. Always, anytime. Okay. You take care of yourself. I will. Well, hello there. You the woman I talked to on the phone? Uh, yes. Um, you said you had a thousand dollars worth of
clothes and toys, right? Well, who are you, the police? What I said on the phone is what we're doing here, lady. Well, all right, Anna. Here's the money. Oh, where's the stuff at? What, you thought I brought it here? Well, I thought that was the agreement. Now, what are you, a cop or something? You're acting real suspicious, lady. No, I'm just here to get gifts for my kids. That's it. All right, give me the money. I'm not giving you nothing until you give me the merchandise. Lady, you meet me all by yourself in a dark parking garage with no backup? What, you think I'm scared of you? You don't have to be scared of me. Just give me what you promised. Well, I'm gonna give you something, all right? What the hell going on here? Help, call police. This guy just tried to rob me. You okay? I'm all right. Okay. Thank you for coming to my rescue. All right, come on, let's go. All right, let's go. The moral of the story is, never assume that you can take the easy way out of life. Be mindful that if something sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Always take a friend with you if you're leery about business transactions. The holidays are about spending time with family and friends, not gifts and gadgets. <laughs>